Welcome back. In this video, we're going to create a cactus and add some texture to it using part vector design and part rasterized pixel design utilizing multiple features in Affinity Designer. To get started, just create a document any size that you would like and grab the ellipse tool. create your first oval and you can leave it exactly like this or you can come up to this top toolbar convert to curves and it will give you the ability to kind of customize your shape a little bit more so i'm going to pull out these handbars and then bring up the sides i don't like my images to look too perfect so just kind of play around with it. I'm happy with the shape. You could even select the shape, Command C, Command V to copy and paste, rotate, kind of adjust the size a little bit, and then I'm going to copy and paste this one more time. Actually, I'm going to copy and paste it one more time, and that will be the last. And if you follow me on my Instagram, this may look somewhat familiar to you as I've made kind of a design like this and had it turned into stickers. Okay, so once we have that, I want to create a pot for it. So grab the rounded rectangle tool. And change this to any color that you would like. I'm going to change mine to like a dark, almost black navy color. And then create a bottom for it. And if you come up to the top toolbar, you can actually change the percentage of the corners. And I want to lessen this. Once again, convert to curves. And I want to bring these in so that it's not straight up and down, but it is angled. And you have the beginning of your cactus. For just a second, I'm going to group these, go up to what looks like a bar graph and center, go back and ungroup. And a lot of the designs that I've done so far on this channel have all been more on the flat side, but a nice way to add some depth and character to your designs is to use texture and one way of doing this in affinity designer is click on this second button over to the pixel persona if you grab your paintbrush tool or b on your keyboard i'm going to start off with the cactus itself And you want to adjust this color to something a little darker. Go to your brushes. It comes preloaded with some. I have found some online. And if you have been on Affinity Designer or any of the Affinity programs for any length of time, they usually include some free downloads every time there's an update. This year they also did it at the end of 2017 as kind of just a bonus so like these i know were some free brushes from them but for adding texture they have some preloaded with the texture this will work fine for this when you roll over you can see a little bit right where the brush is at so you can get a better idea i'm actually going to get an even darker color than what i actually want just so you can see the texture
You can increase and decrease your size using the left and right brackets on your computer or on your keyboard. So all you have to do is roll over, click and roll with your texture where you want more shadow. You can go over multiple times And then just so it stays within the shape that you want, drop it below the shape and you'll see that it has now kind of created that clipping mask. Like I said, I created this darker than what I actually wanted just so you could see it a little bit better. You can always go in and change the opacity. So just go in and Add texture to each one of these shapes. I'm also going to go on the planter and add a little bit of texture to this as well. You can also use the brush to add in some details to your artwork. I'm just gonna go to assorted, create a new layer. I'm just gonna add some little details to the planter. And you can always adjust the opacity for this as well. So it kind of blends in with that texture. Create a new layer. I'm just gonna go in and add some little spikes. Once again, you can always change the opacity of these. Could even add in like a little face or something like that. But as you can see, the texture from the pixel or the rasterized brushes add a nice amount of texture and depth to your designs. So I hope you enjoyed the video and have fun adding some texture to your designs. As always, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Thanks guys.